Welcome to Weapon Row State. Being the eighth video, we actually are being sponsored today by none other than Kamabo Corp, the origin of the lovely octoling you're seeing on your screen right now. They even expose young octolings to many different weapons, and that lets them make even spicier roasts. So there was a conversation between an inkling and an octoling. It went like this. The octoling says, hey, what are you going to be doing with that tri-slosher? And the inkling replies, I'm going to go play some turf war. So the octoling says, oh, really? I, uh, I thought you were going to the beach to build a sandcastle. <laughs> now let's get into even more roasts. The 96 gal represents the number of times you'll lose out of 100 matches. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna name one good thing about the E-Leader, okay? Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I've got a little acronym for you for air spray. A, garbage, E, R. Oh, I, I get it. I get it now. If I had a penny, for every time a splashdown failed to hit the floor before getting splatted, well, let's just say I'd be more than just rich. Dude, the Tenta Camo Umbrella's camouflage is so good that you never see it being played. And for good reason. Uh, the Carbon Roller's name is so fitting. You can exhale carbon dioxide as fast as losing a match with this weapon. Hey. Did you know the carbon is so fast that it makes your ranks go down at the same speed as the roller? Oh, you're using the clear dapples, huh? Uh, I hope you know how clear your chances of winning are. They're not great. Oh, you play duallys? Uh, well, that'll double the amount of times you get to miss your shots before you die immediately afterwards. Why use the dynamo roller when it says die in the word? You know you're going to get splatted. The E-Leader 4K is so bad that I can't even lose a single game with it. Like, seriously. I, I hit all my shots and I can't miss no matter how hard I try. And the range is so bad. Okay, there we go. Now it's a roast that it got me into X rank. Still not a roast. I think this one is in the wrong pile. All right, all right. So you just picked up your very own explosher at the local Sheldon market. Your friends take a look at it and they call it the cheapest looking egg grill they've ever seen. Hey, the glue gadoolies compared to real life glue guns actually makes sense. Just look how slow it is compared to how fast you get splatted. Uh, people use GooTuber for two reasons, to squid bag and so they can say, I, I can play GooTuber, I, I swear. I'm good with all chargers! Shh, only goofy goobers use the GooTuber. Duh! The GooTuber is like a 2012 YouTuber. At first glance, it looks like it could be good and fun, and then, ba bam, the clickbait strikes again! The Grim Range Blaster? Uh, the only thing grim about this weapon is how often your shot flies away from your target. Uh, not to mention how terribly ink efficient it is. I still like it though. The H3 Nozzle Nose is great. As long as you're in the training area. Oh, what's that? You wanted to use it in a real match? Uh, okay, just, just make sure I'm not in it, alright? The reason it's called the Ink Storm is because it washes away all your ranks. Ah. <laughs> So, you know how Pichu hurts itself every single time it uses an electric attack? Yeah, so now you know what it would feel like trying to play Inkbrush. Have fun with that broken finger and ZR button! The Splattershot Junior is super accurate to its name. It's for juniors. The freshest thing about the fresh squiffer is the fresh pain of defeat you feel. It's very quick. Did you know? The NZAP is actually an acronym. It stands for... No zaps, actually. Pass. You know, if I see an octo brush, I kinda, I kinda just brush them to the side. They're not worth my time. The only thing permanent about the permanent ink brush is your losing streak. Uh, the sloshing machine is practically a washing machine. The only thing is, it kinda just washes away your chances of winning and any hope you might have left. Oops. It's splatling? <laughs> I wish. I can't even get a hit with this. The 7 in Splushomatic 7 
That's how long, in seconds, it's gonna take for you to rage quit and choose a different weapon. Please don't say you're shooting your opponent when you're using the sploosh matic The range is so short, you're clearly slapping them. The sploosh matic 7 is just the seventh try on making the sploosh matic better. Have you ever wondered why they're called squeezers? It's because they squeeze the happiness out of their users. Trying to charge the Hydra Splatling takes as long as Vic Vion streams for Sunday Fun Day. I, I, I think that's a good thing. I'm gonna say it's a good thing, because they're like four hours long. The nice thing about Tenta Missiles is they show you exactly where you're gonna get splatted next. These Tenta Missiles sure do miss all the opportunities for splats, huh? No, you can't just slide everywhere and make your opponents miss their shots. Dark Tetra Dually mains. <laughs> Mika Woosh! Ah, the undercover Brella. The only thing it tries to cover is its low win rate. <laughs> Even then, it's not very good at doing that because it's see through. All those roasts, you know, they really made me want to get a beverage. Maybe a smoothie? I don't know, but regardless, thank you for listening to Weapon Roast State. If you'd like to add your own spicy roast for Weapon Roast 9, leave it in the comments below or it'll be lost forever, never to be seen by me, Victoria Vion, or any of your lovely friends in the audience. Uh, uh, oh, oh no! There, there goes the video! Oh no, bye!